Entrepreneurship is not a linear journey but a cyclical one, marked by cycles of growth, stagnation, and transformation. These cycles can be both financial and spiritual in nature, as the entrepreneurial journey often involves an inner process of growth and change. In this blog post, we will discuss the spiritual business cycles of an entrepreneur. As you embark on your entrepreneurial journey, you will encounter challenges that test your resilience, patience, and dedication. But by recognizing these spiritual business cycles, you can better navigate these challenges and achieve long-term success. Welcome, kindred soul. I'm honored to be here with you and share spirit-led messages to nourish your soul. As we go through the teachings, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Return any time you want clarification or simply want more nourishment. At the end, I will be providing you with the option of extended teachings if you wish to continue. Let's open the best frequency by speaking words of positivity. I am light, loved, and whole, created and designed for a purpose. I give and receive abundance, and work with all my heart as I open the pathway for others. Recognize the signs of overwhelm. Embarking on an entrepreneurial journey is a thrilling endeavor, yet it often comes with a side of overwhelm. This initial phase, or cycle, is commonly punctuated by a whirlwind of tasks, responsibilities, and expectations. The pressure to succeed may mount, and the fear of failure might loom large. What's critical is the ability to recognize this sense of overwhelm and the physical, mental, or emotional signs that accompany it. Overwhelm manifests differently for everyone. For some, it may show up as physical exhaustion or a constant feeling of being worn out. You may find yourself increasingly irritable or struggle to concentrate on tasks that would typically be a breeze. Frustration might become a frequent companion, and a vague sense of dread might envelop your days. It's essential to understand that these feelings are not signs of weakness or ineptitude. They're your body and mind's way of signaling that you're dealing with more than you can handle at the moment. Acknowledging these signs is the first step in effectively managing them. So how do you know when you're overwhelmed? Start by tuning into your feelings. Are you perpetually tired? Do you feel as if you're always playing catch-up, with never enough hours in the day? Are you finding it hard to focus or make decisions? These could all be indicators that overwhelm has come knocking. Remember, the objective isn't to eliminate these feelings entirely. That's an unrealistic expectation. Instead, the goal is to recognize when you're overwhelmed and understand that it's okay to slow down, reassess, and regroup. After all, entrepreneurship is a marathon, not a sprint, and recognizing the signs of overwhelm is the first stride in ensuring you maintain a sustainable pace throughout this exciting journey. Prioritize and delegate. Following the recognition of overwhelm, the subsequent spiritual business cycle leads you down the path of prioritization and delegation. Being an entrepreneur is akin to juggling multiple balls at once, and naturally, the impulse may be to manage every aspect single-handedly. But take a moment and remember, entrepreneurship isn't about carrying the weight of the world alone. It's about understanding what needs your touch and what can be trusted in the hands of others. During this cycle, you learn to discern between tasks that demand your direct involvement and those that can be delegated. Is there an element of your business that doesn't necessarily need your expertise, but simply consumes your time? Could someone else perhaps do it more efficiently or faster? Freeing up your time to concentrate on areas where your skills truly shine? 
By asking these questions, you begin to lighten your workload and reduce stress, enabling you to focus on what matters most. Delegation isn't a sign of surrendering control, rather it's a testament to your wisdom as an entrepreneur. You understand the importance of leveraging the talents of others to elevate your business. So, start by identifying tasks that could be entrusted to capable hands. It could be anything from administrative duties to social media management or customer service. This not only eases your burden but also empowers your team by trusting them with responsibilities. The cycle of prioritizing and delegating also illuminates another crucial aspect of entrepreneurship, the ability to distinguish between urgent and important. Everything may seem pressing, but learning to sift through your to-do list to identify tasks that require immediate attention versus those that can wait is key to successful management. Establish healthy boundaries. Embarking upon the third spiritual cycle of entrepreneurship, we encounter the critical step of setting healthy boundaries. This phase often dawns on the heels of overwhelming stress or outright burnout, emphasizing the importance of setting boundaries that protect your time, energy, and mental health. The essence of establishing boundaries lies in defining what you will and won't allow in your business life. This could mean turning down offers that don't align with your core business objectives or carving out dedicated work hours to ensure a healthy work-life balance. It's about deciding where to draw the line and learning to hold that line without guilt or hesitation. Creating these boundaries isn't about limiting opportunities but protecting your well-being. It's about ensuring you're not stretched too thin, that your time and energy are invested wisely, and that your business doesn't consume your life. In the whirlwind of entrepreneurship, it's easy to lose sight of the need for personal space and time. Establishing healthy boundaries reinstates that need, serving as a buffer against work-related stress and burnout. There's also a shift in perspective involved in this cycle. Instead of viewing your business as an endless series of tasks and obligations, you start seeing it as a part of your life that needs to be managed in a way that leaves room for other important aspects like family, hobbies, rest, and personal growth. For instance, you might decide that work ends at 6 p.m., no matter what. Or, perhaps you establish a rule that weekends are off-limits for business meetings. Maybe you choose to start each day with an hour of quiet uninterrupted personal time before diving into work. The specific boundaries you set will depend on your personal needs and circumstances. Incorporate mindfulness and self-care. As you traverse the entrepreneurial path, you arrive at the fourth spiritual business cycle, the introduction of mindfulness and self-care into your daily life. This cycle signifies the need to nourish your overall well-being, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Mindfulness, a practice rooted in being fully present and engaged in the current moment, cultivates focus and clarity, which are key components of entrepreneurship. Likewise, self-care, often misconstrued as an indulgence, is truly an investment in your entrepreneurial journey. Remember, your business's health is intrinsically linked to your personal health. Therefore, it's critical to establish routines that replenish and rejuvenate you. Imagine starting your day with a calm meditation session, cultivating inner peace that anchors you throughout the day. Or, picture weaving in a yoga practice. Stretching your body while expanding your mind, opening up channels of creativity and innovation. And don't underestimate the power of physical movement, whether it's a brisk walk, a heart pumping run, or a dance session. Regular exercise not only keeps you physically fit but also releases endorphins, your body's natural mood boosters. Don't forget nutrition either. 
Fuel your body with wholesome foods that provide the energy and nutrients needed to keep you going strong. This isn't about stringent diets or restrictions. It's about mindful eating that prioritizes nourishment over deprivation. Bear in mind, mindfulness and self-care practices aren't meant to add another layer of tasks to your already full plate. Instead, they should serve as enriching experiences that restore balance, reduce stress, and ultimately enhance your entrepreneurial performance. As you navigate this cycle, feel free to experiment and discover what practices resonate with you the most, and don't hesitate to tweak them to align with your lifestyle and preferences. The key takeaway in this cycle? Entrepreneurs can't pour from an empty cup. Incorporating mindfulness and self-care replenishes that cup, ensuring you have the energy, resilience, and clarity to continue navigating the dynamic journey of entrepreneurship. Seek support. Venturing on the path of entrepreneurship can sometimes feel like a solitary endeavor. This sense of isolation can be quite overwhelming, but remember that there's no rule stating that you have to tread this path alone. This is where the final spiritual business cycle comes into play, the cycle of seeking support. In the world of business, there's an abundance of seasoned entrepreneurs, mentors, and coaches who have experienced the same highs and lows that you are currently facing. They can provide priceless advice, motivation, and fresh perspectives to help you overcome the obstacles and savor the triumphs of your journey. Creating a strong support network also means surrounding yourself with peers who are traversing similar paths. Collaborative platforms and networking events can connect you with other entrepreneurs who can share their experiences and best practices. These relationships can provide reciprocal support, where you can learn from each other's successes and mistakes, and even form partnerships or collaborations down the line. In addition to seeking human support, don't forget the wealth of digital resources at your fingertips. Online courses, webinars, podcasts, and blogs are all excellent sources of information and guidance that can help you to broaden your knowledge and skills. However, seeking support doesn't mean you should solely depend on others. It's about recognizing that entrepreneurship is a shared journey, not a solitary endeavor. It's about harnessing the collective wisdom, experiences, and strengths of others to complement your own. Remember, being an entrepreneur doesn't mean bearing the weight of your business alone. Embrace the cycle of seeking support to enhance your entrepreneurial journey. It's okay to lean on others for advice, encouragement, or a listening ear. It's all part of the dynamic, enriching, and ultimately rewarding journey of entrepreneurship. Thank you for listening to this teaching. If you would like to go further with this teaching, or any others, please visit firstlightteaching.com. I also want to thank any of you who may have donated. Your blessings have provided me the opportunity to bring this to you and share my light with the world.